Hello again, Ian Stuckey here with another painting video. This time we're finishing up the Lucius box set from Malifaux with a couple of guild guards. Where's the skin? Here it is. Starting with the skin, 09092 Golden Skin. Yeah, for some reason this particular sculpt reminds me of General Custer. A American um, military officer during the 1800s fought in the Indian Wars and was KIA during said fighting. And the guild guards are the rank and file of the guild who patrol the streets and generally do the dirty work for their leaders. They'll probably get a few more later on because these are inexpensive and useful models. So I will not be doing more than one painting video unless this one turns out to be horrible quality. And then 09047 Fair Skin, because the other sculpt was a woman. Yeah, this is a really nice pose. Our partner standing stoic and straight. She is in motion, reacting to some threat. Drawing one gun while aiming the other. Still a lot of smoke in the air from wildfires in adjacent states. So still not a very good time to have a nose. Yeah, not a whole lot on the flesh tones. And let that dry and move on. Okay. 09062 leather white It's just going to go on their shirts.
and 09161 Shield Brown. Again, a lot of smoke in the area. And then 09257 blonde hair. That does not look like it's mixed up well enough. That's better. Though this model looks a little bit like General Custer. I think they might have been going for a Wyatt Earp thing. In either case, you get the definite uh, impression of a sheriff. Zero nine zero five six Templar Blue. Sorry about that. I may want to redo that fringe on her pants later on, I don't know. Make a final decision as I finish up.
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. All right, zero nine one one zero oiled leather. A little more than that. And this is going on the coats and hats. The scabbards for their swords and the boots. Oh, the belts too. She was a particularly difficult model to assemble, specifically with the coat. You can see here it kind of comes around her leg in an odd way. It looks great, but a little tricky to get together. It's actually a holster here. Make sure to get that in the leather. Sometimes I wound up hitting her. Yeah, with that leather, he'll just 
blot that out just like that and then someone got in the big palm of her hand huh That's got the coat. I had to get this holster and the scabbard. Now for the other one. in his coat to be another argument for doing a partial assembly, but it's not always practical. Hmm. Let's give me a little more paint. That might do it.
All right, we'll let that dry and then finish up with the base coats in a bit. Okay. There it is. 09206 Tarnished Steel. I don't know why I have so much trouble saying that word on camera. That is more of tarnished steel than I need. It's her guns. Just need to do her belt buckle. Got his guns. And his sword. Their ability card uh, refers to all of their weapons as refurbished, so obviously they're equipped at lowest cost possible. <laughs> and that happened. And now 09038, Rainy Gray. And again, this is hand sculpted. And if you saw the video I put up a about a week and a half ago, you'll now know how to do at least the stonework yourself. And I'll put up more of those videos as I get new models to do it on that have textures different from ones I've already done. I guess I could do one for angular stonework like this, but um, that's pretty easy to sculpt as you're following the steps I outlined last in that previous video um, just following a rough grid pattern As I said at the start, I will definitely get some more guild guards at some point in the future just because of their low cost and utility in the game. I 
have synergy with each other with some of their abilities. If I do, I may modify them. Playing around with their heads and a little sculpting putty, make them unique. more nice even coat and that is base coats let that dry completely and start shading okay shading 09109 ruddy leather Again, starting with the highest area to lowest on shading. Huh. Seems to be an oddly sculpted bit here. Blot that out. I wouldn't be as worried about that on the shading step if this wasn't a light color. That little bit needs to be blotted out there. Let's see. There we go. Just making sure the gap is still present. one. 
to take some care of going the underside of the hat here. Bleed onto the flesh. Okay. If I say anything weird for the rest of this video, I'm, it's still been a rough week. Still getting over the death in the family. And just been through a lot of crap at the day job. As soon as Mastermind Games consistently makes me money, I'm just going to walk away from all that and do Mastermind Games full time. Got it planned out through just about product number 50, what everything's going to be, and I still haven't even touched even a quarter of the ideas I've got written down for future Battlegrounds terrain sets. I was aiming for getting a new set out every three to six months. I might want to try after I'm doing that full time, try to get one out every month or every other month. But I also don't want to overwhelm customers with having too much out at once either but just see how it goes okay uh, let's see uh, don't think I can do his facial hair just yet so let that dry move on All right, get my drink out of the way. Brion Blue 09055. Oh, where's that paper clip? This is plugged up a little. Again, on shading, you want about half paint, half water in most cases. <laughs> yeah, there's still a lot of smoke in the area around here.
And I just noticed I missed a piece of shading on the brown. Great. All right. Let's still fix that real quick here. Or I could if that hadn't dried. Take that ruddy leather again real quick. Just a little dot. Let's get that over this holster here. And then 09205 black and steel. Getting our weapons here. Okay. And since I never really mentioned it, I guess. Uh, if you want to see previews of what I've got coming up, just check out my Instagram account. It's in the links. Almost forgot her belt buckle. And then Woodstain Brown 09160. Don't need much of this. Yikes. Just getting her hair with that. And then 09256 Blonde Shadow. Again, don't need a whole lot of that. That's just going on his facial hair. left so we'll stop here come back in a minute okay next color zero nine zero six one linen white And then zero nine zero three seven pure black. Uh, a lot of junk in the air today. Okay. 
And that's actually probably going to be enough because this is going to be diluted a lot more than I typically do. Ugh. Apologize again for all the sniffing, but sinuses have been just nuts the last few weeks with a lot of allergens in the air, dust at work, and smoke from the fires in California and Wyoming. Oddly enough, it always seems to be at its worst right when I start recording. <laughs> okay. So that's just going to leave the flesh tones to shade. Once that's done, moving on to highlight details. It. Okay, Fair Shadow 09046. Let's carefully get this on the hands. And that's all the shading on her. And then Golden Shadow 09091. I can tell this one's clogged. Oh yeah, that's clogged real good. And just a tiny dot for his lip. It'd help if I had this in view of the camera. Okay. Then taking 09003 blood red, we'll go ahead and do the first coat on the bases. I want a nice, even coat.
Okay. Once those dry, highlight and detail. Okay, highlight and details. 09039 Pure White. So this video is coming out later than expected. It's been a weird, busy, and fun couple of days. A lot of unexpected things, but where's the one I need? But that happens sometimes. So get this finished up. Get it uploaded and start on the next. So we're just going to go ahead and get the eyes. There's little white dots. Do the pupils later. This takes a lot of practice, a lot of patience. And if you need to start over, just do a layer of the shading over it, and that'll fix it up. And 09048 fair highlights. That should be enough. It's mostly just her face and hands that are showing. And then golden highlight zero nine zero nine three. Driftwood Brown zero nine one six two. Just needing tiny amounts because there's not a lot of surface area here I need to worry about. Zero nine two five eight blonde highlight. Don't need much of that either because it's just his facial hair that's getting this. Just like that. Let's see, probably. Zero nine zero six three ghost white. That's pretty 
good. Yep. Okay. Oh, next, 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 next. Zero nine two zero seven true silver. how much her arm is wiggling as I highlight her gun. Oh, almost forgot her belt buckle. Take care of that. Get his. Probably the jeans. So ash and blue zero nine zero five seven. So I want a slightly larger one for this. Working out nice. Zero nine one 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 burnt orange. Again, this is a great looking model with a nice dynamic pose. The only issue is how difficult it was to put together. Touch up along there. Okay, that's pretty good. Go 
gonna worry about shading the underside of his hat so much. And then 09088 Stormy Gray. And then 09037 Pure Black. That is way too much. All I need this for is to carefully dot in the pupils. Taking blood red again, zero nine zero zero three. That should be enough. Gonna just carefully apply second layer of the base. Give this a more uniform look. Okay, now I just need to let that dry and finish up with numbering them.
All right, last little bit. Taken 09039, pure white again. Just a little dot. And we're just going to number these. Okay. I'm just kind of on the back of the base. Gonna make her guardsman number one. Just a quick, easy Roman numeral. And it'll be number two. And that's it. Pair of the Old Guardsmen, and that is the last of the Lucius Matheson Bound by Law box set. Next, going to be hitting up some Hordes Trollkin models that have been waiting on my painting queue for over a year, so. <laughs> uh, until next time, Ian Stokey signing out. Oh, and if you want a good laugh, check out my Instagram account. A couple of days ago, the neighbors. The groundskeeper on the neighboring condo decided to mow their lawn in concentric circles like a crop circle for apparently no good reason. <laughs> and till next time.